Hello everyone, welcome to the DSA practical series. In this particular session, we will study about uh, some uh, Boolean laws and see how we can reduce the Boolean expression so that we require less number of gates. The first example is this one, A or A bar and B equal to A or B. So to implement the left hand side, we require three gates. So this is how the left hand side is implemented using the logic gates, basic logic gates. So here we require three gates. And to implement right hand side, we just require one single gate. So this is how uh, when we use the laws of Boolean algebra, the circuit gets reduced. So whatever we are getting with this, the above three uh, logic gates, the same we get with only a single logic gate. Now next, this is uh, the ex another example here. We have on the left side that A or B and A or C equal to A and A, A or B and C. So to implement the left hand side, we require three gates. So this is what we get with this particular left hand side. This is the implementation using logic gates. And for the right hand side, we require just two gates. So this is uh, how the equivalence is uh, and how we actually uh, reduce the number of gates. Now let us implement both this particular expressions and verify their truth table using the Samuel ID software. So now we are into the Samuel ID software. We will first verify the first relation A or A bar and b equal to a or b so we will first select the input so this is the fixed voltage supply this can be our a and this can be our b this is a b then we require the three gates we first take this one so this is has to be converted to not gate so we just invert input and then uh, we require and gate so i just take this and gate place it here and then finally a uh, OR gate this is what we get now we do the connection so this part you can just check the circuit and this comes from here and this will get connected here and this one from B and then finally this one and then for output we need a probe so this is the probe so we just connect this probe for verification we require the right hand side so we can have this right hand side here itself so for that purpose we need the OR gate I just copy this and we have this paste it here again there are two inputs so let us take two inputs or we can do one thing okay let us take two inputs that is more better we can next take two inputs we verify everything together okay, now we can turn on so for this is zero 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 oh sorry I need one probe so this is the probe so turn it on so both are zero 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 one so zero one zero and both become one then uh, for one zero we are getting output one one zero so this is one zero this is one zero output is one for one one we are getting one we are getting one here also so it means both the circuit are working in the same way because for whatever value the upper circuit is true the lower is also true so they are equivalent now let us check the equivalence of the second one now next we go to the second boolean expression so this upper part is the left hand side and the lower part is the right hand side now to add this text you can see if you scroll down here we have this graphical here we have the text so we can insert the text from here if you want to write anything we'll just double click and we'll get the option what text we want to add like we can add the text here okay it will come it so because here they are not in sequence so here we have BAC and here we have CBA for uh, getting it arranged in a proper way to, to get it arranged in a proper way I have done this so let us start the simulation so for 0 0 0 0 0 0 we are uh, both are 0 0 now for 0 0 1 it means A and B are 0 and C is 1 so C is 1 and here C is 1 so we are getting both as 0 0 then what about 0 1 0 so A is 0 B is 1 okay. so A is 0 and B is 1 again both are 0 0 then let us take a uh, 0 1 1 so C and B both are you can give both are 1 1 so we are getting both as for B C both 1 1 we are getting both 1 1 we are getting output as 1 then what about 1 0 0 so A is 1 
so a is 1 and rest all are 0 still we are getting output as 1 and let us take the last one all are 1 1 so when all are 1 1 so we are getting 1 1 so we, you can actually verify all the relations all the 8 inputs from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 ABC combination and we see that uh, both are true together and false together so this proves their equivalence so that's all for this particular session do join us for the next video thanks for watching